In this screencast, I'll show you how to use EndNote to reference a document. I've opened the document in Microsoft Word, and I also have available to me at the top of the screen the EndNote toolbar. If you don't have the EndNote toolbar available to you, you should go to the View menu, go down to Toolbars, and make sure that EndNote is visible. Also running in the background is EndNote itself with the appropriate database open. As you can see, I've been making notes to myself as I've been editing the document. The first reference here I need is Sactor and McDermott, 2002. So I position myself where I want to place the reference, and I go up to the EndNote toolbar and press the Find Citations button. As you can see, the Find Citations button is the familiar magnifying glass icon. I'm entering Sactor, and as you can see, Sactor has been very busy, including two references from 2002. One by Sactor and McDermott, you can see it out there, and the second just by Sactor himself. If there's any doubt about it, I can scroll down. EndNote is showing me the entire record, abstract and all, so I can make sure that I'm inserting the reference I really wanted to. I insert that reference there, and you see what EndNote has done? It's put in Sactor's name, the year 2002, and number 20, which shows that this is reference number 20 in the database. Now that I have put in the reference, I can remove my notes. The next reference I need is to a paper by Richardson, and I didn't note the year, but we can search for Richardson and there is only one paper by Richardson so that's probably why I didn't note the date and I can get rid of my note to myself again. You'll see that EndNote creates links between the Word document and the database by putting the name of the author and the year, and for the avoidance of all doubt, the reference number. But EndNote will also allow you to put in some of this information. Look here, for example, at this reference to Sactor. I've typed it in curly brackets. And I can do the same with other references. I'm doing this for NAF. I don't know the year, but it's worth looking for. Curly brackets tell EndNote that when it encounters these, it's to search the database and see can it match those terms. We'll see in a minute how EndNote does. And there's a final thing here. You'll notice in the last paragraph that I have simply put in the text ref in square brackets. I do that when I can't remember who wrote the reference, so I'm going to have to find out who did do that small study of uh, participants in sub-Saharan Africa. I can do this in EndNote as well because the Find Citations button doesn't just find authors and titles, it finds text anywhere in the article. So I can put in Saharan and ah, there in fact the very first document that EndNote retrieves uh, is the one I need. I can do the same for quality of life I'm actually copying it, so I'll be able to paste it into EndNote itself. Search quality of life. Uh -huh. The first one again is the reference I actually need. Now that I have inserted references, I can ask EndNote, I'm just tidying up here, I can ask EndNote to do a bibliography. The Format Bibliography button is also in the toolbar, and when I say Format Bibliography, EndNote asks me what output style would I like. Uh, let's have a look at the standard Vancouver style, and here it says Temporary Citation Delimiters. This is where EndNote is told that these curly brackets are what define places where I've put in citation information. If I say 
OK. EndNote begins looking. And it's found a reference to Nath. Now, Nath actually appears as an author in a number of papers, but I think this is the paper I wanted. It's the only first author paper, so I'm going to insert that. And now, Sactor 2007. Sactor is actually an author on three papers in 2007. I told you he was busy. And that's the one I want. It's the first author paper. And Nath 2008. EndNote is quite right. That's the one I want. And there are the references. You'll see the references are laid out in Vancouver style, numbered. And in the text, the numbers are placed in the correct position. I can change this by going back and saying format bibliography and this time for example let's do social science and medicine. Now I don't have to know how social science and medicine wants its references formatted. It's up to EndNote to know that. There they are. EndNote knows that social science and medicine uses an author date system with the references in alphabetical order. When you're formatting the bibliography, you'll find that EndNote allows you all the citations you've used already and all the citation systems you've used already. And in addition, it has literally thousands of others available to you. EndNote knows the referencing styles for literally thousands of different journals. Every time you pick uh, a style, it will remain in this drop-down menu here. So the journal styles that you use most frequently will be available to you. That's the end of this tutorial.